velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. <laughs> not just accept information always as true. And I, that's particularly important with media. Uh, dieting industry and other sorts of advertising or other sorts of um, uh, makeup and uh, other health or even cars or uh, uh, clothing, all of those, all of those different, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time with words today. Um, advertisers work really hard to make us feel insufficient and not good enough or that we need something in order to be better or need something in order to have happiness or peace or joy and so it's helpful to help our kids learn and understand that and that this is not necessarily something that is going to make us a better person or make us more well-liked or um, help us have greater success in our life so teaching them how to see between the lines a little bit. And also helping them understand too that the modeling industry is not an accurate representation of our society. Only 2% of the American population actually has that body type of a model. So they're not most often really representing who we are. So if we look to them for role models, we're gonna end up feeling not good enough, most of us who don't have that body type. So being able to differentiate between the two and being able to, I think, start to appreciate something I think parents can be really proactive on to balance out that, that media and start to appreciate and talk about all sorts of different shapes and sizes and diversity and honor them and see the beauty in all those different uh, cultures and body types. And that will help prevent some of that getting hooked into the thin ideal that our media does represent. I think another aspect of the media to think about is the, the websites that we and even Facebook, I hear about it from clients that are really pushing dieting and, and you know, the pro-Anna websites and things like that. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, but unfortunately there's some websites out there that actually really promote eating disorders. In fact, a client, texted me the other day, she was on Amazon trying to buy a book for her recovery and came across a book called How to Be Anorexic. And I just can't believe that Amazon was selling that. But anyway, um, so there's so, so I, I guess one aspect, and I don't really, generally the family therapist would do this or such, but is looking at what your kids are looking at on the computers because of these sort of things can be so influential and very, um, Insidious and really digging in there and putting out bad messages and making it seem like that's the right thing to do. So that would be another thing to do. There was also a study that cited um, promoting positive change or, or positive body image. If that may be the same it one. Might. Yeah, that when you try to speak out and advocate for um, more of a well rounded uh, representation of all of our bodies in the media that that will help instill better self-esteem. So encouraging to have those sorts of conversations with your children and encouraging them to speak with their friends about that uh, will actually help them feel better about who they are. <laughs>